Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today what I wanna show you is when you're working with an Oxygen site, you're probably gonna wonder how you install the Google Analytics tracking code, or perhaps your Facebook Pixel, or really any other uh, small script that you'll use on your website for tracking purposes. So what I'll do today is show you how you can get it set up to where you don't actually have to have any plugins at all to achieve that, um, that installation for the tracking code. So what I have here is my actual Permaslug site. This is live right now now and I have a template that I've called all pages and that basically renders my header, the inner content section, and then the footer down here at the bottom of the website. And what we're gonna do is actually add the tracking code to the header on my site, which technically is not the actual WordPress head, but that's fine. It really doesn't make any difference at all. And we're gonna use Google Tag Manager. If you're not familiar with Tag Manager, it's a really cool tool to be able to manage a bunch of different, um, I'll call them tags, because that's what they are, manage a bunch of different scripts. Um, and you can do a whole lot more with Tag Manager that we can get into in a different video. But what we're gonna do is actually set up the Google Tag Manager. We're going to install that on our website, and then we're going to add Google Analytics inside of Tag Manager. From here, it will make sense how you go about installing Facebook, uh, you know, your Facebook Pixel. Um, you, you could install like your hot jar for heat mapping. Anything like that will work just fine. You could install AdSense through Google Tag Manager if you wanted to. Um, so really what, you, what we're gonna do now is just visit tagmanager.google.com and go ahead and sign in. And then if you've never done anything inside Tag Manager, let's go ahead and create kind of your top level account. So this will be familiar if you are uh, used to Google Analytics. This account name is basically gonna be sort of the top level account. So this could be you know your business name or something like that. And then a container is considered one website. So um, this particular case, I'm gonna call this account name uh, just permaslug. And then the container name, let's just go permaslug.com. And then of course this, this container is a web-based app and click on create, accept the terms. And then once you come in here, you'll see you're inside of the, um, the account that you just created. And you can see that the code that they give you is ready for you immediately. So really what we're gonna do now is switch back over to our WordPress admin side, go to oxygen and templates and go to all pages. Again, as I mentioned, this particular template applies to all pages on my site. And then the other template that you just saw, it's called all posts. And that one actually inherits the header and footer from the all pages template. So all of my posts automatically get these changes that we're about to make to the all pages template. If you have any questions on that, let me know and we can talk about inheriting designs from other templates in a different video. But go ahead and edit your all pages template and we'll get started. So from here, it's gonna be really simple. The way that I personally like to do this is I'm going to expand my structure panel here, open my header builder, and under the header row left, um, I'm just going to go ahead and add in a code block, which is down here. And then obviously we're not gonna want it to appear there, but I'll show you what we're gonna do here in just a second. Let's switch back to our tag manager tab and copy this code that's gonna go in the head right here. And then we can just basically paste this inside of the, um, the PHP and HTML area, and then just take the body code and do the exact same thing. Click on apply code. And now what, what I'll do is I'm gonna leave this code block just as is, but if we click on save, I'm gonna view the website on the front end. And then what you'll find if you use some kind of, um, you know, tracker or plugin or something like that in Chrome, as you can see our Google Tag Manager is installed. Of course, there's not gonna be anything running inside of Tag Manager yet. We just have the actual code installed on the page, so it does detect it. And let's say if I go to a post on the page um, or a post on my website, you can see that Tag Manager shows up there as well. So that's great. Um, now let's go ahead and return to the um, our Oxygen template here. And then let's go to Advanced. We're gonna to go to Layout and then we'll say Display None. So that's gonna hide it from showing you know, on the front end, but it's still gonna be rendered on the page. So go ahead and click Save. And then you're done with your Oxygen template. So we can go ahead and close out of this. I'm gonna keep this tab open for when we install Google Analytics so you can see it. But go ahead and switch back over to Google Tag Manager and just click on OK. Now what we're gonna wanna do is click this new tag button. You can see once you come inside this screen here, it might look a little bit confusing. Go ahead and just name this tag like GA or Google Analytics or whatever you want. Um, click on tag configuration, and then you'll see there's a bunch of pre-built kind of featured ones. You can add custom HTML, however you wanna do this. There's a ton of different options, but we're just gonna click on Google Analytics, Universal Analytics here. The track type you can just leave on page view. Um, under the variable settings, just click on new variable. 
All you have to do is basically take your tracking ID number and put that in there. In this particular case, mine looks like this. So if I just paste it in right there, that's my Google Analytics tracking ID. You have to have already created your Google Analytics um, you know, property at this point to be able to get that code, um, but you don't need the full script. You just need the tracking ID. From here, there's a couple of other settings, but we're not gonna worry about any of those. So just click on, um, this is our GA ID, let's just call it that, and then click Save. So now you'll see the uh, variable that you just created is there. I called it GAID. And then our triggering is going to be just set to all pages. Go ahead and click on save. And you're not quite done yet. So we do have our Google Analytics added to our Google Tag Manager. But what we need to do now is go ahead and submit the changes to our live site. So at this point, what you can do is just name this something like added GA and then click on publish. And the changes are usually usually reflected pretty much instantaneously. So um, if you go back to the workspace, now you can see that underneath the tags option, there's the Google Analytics one that we just set up. If we go back to the actual website, let's go ahead and just do a refresh. And then we're gonna open this Ghostery plugin. And as you can see, we now have both Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. Um, this this uh, plugin is actually blocking analytics on my site, which is totally fine. I don't really care about being tracked on my own site. Um, but as you can see, Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics are installed. So it's super simple. What you could do is if you wanted to add a new tag for your Facebook pixel, you could just name this Facebook pixel. Tag configuration would just be custom HTML. You paste in the, the Facebook code right there. And then under triggering, you do the same thing. You add all pages. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you guys despite it being so simple. But the reason why I like to use Google Tag Manager as opposed to plugins is that yeah you can use plugins like Google Analytics or something like that uh, but I just like to keep my site as clean as possible and this gives me gives me one centralized dashboard to be able to manage all of my sites so for my business I have one kind of master account with all of my customer client websites underneath that again thank you guys for watching this video I really appreciate it and I'll look forward to seeing you in a future video